Uh, a really cool show that I saw there uh, was John Five, the guitar player for Rob Zombie. And just about, I think he did Rob Halford's Project 2. That was when I first discovered him. And But he's just a, a virtuoso on the instrument. It's like a part of his body. And uh, he's put out many great instrumental albums throughout the years. John Five and the Creatures, I think he calls the band. So uh, a lot of times when a, a great guitar player like that puts out an instrumental record, it's like... It's cool for the first few minutes, and then it just uh, becomes a snooze fest of like noodling, but not with him. He knows how to write a song. He knows how to write a melody. He knows how to speak through his instrument, and after his set, I got to uh, go upstairs the Stanhope House, which is kind of like their backstage area. They have a little office up there. Like I said, it's an old building, so it's not like a traditional venue, but I went upstairs and sat down on a, a couch with... John Five, after an amazing performance, and got to talk to him for a little bit, and he couldn't have been cooler. So uh, for those reasons, this was my favorite show at the place. So I hope this place stays open. Uh, they have a GoFundMe, the Stanhope House, Stanhope, New Jersey. I got a link on our, uh, our Facebook page. But uh, I encourage you to just go and support your local music venue because they're in need of support right now but anyway this is me talking to john five and then we'll play some of his stuff and a block of rob zombie for halloween hey 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 what's going on nothing <laughs> talking to john five how are you i'm good how are you man that was an amazing show thank you very much well you know it was it's a true story my agent was like oh yeah why don't you take a day off you know and I was like, there's this like small blues bar in New Jersey and I really want to play it. You know, all these great cats played it. And how did you hear about it? I just through like, you know, word of mouth and, uh -huh. and really cool historic place. And I love, I love old venues. And yeah. I just am like, do you think we can like stop over and play? And he was like, let me see what we could do. And here so we are. So you brought it up. It wasn't something they yeah. presented to you. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. Yeah, I love this place, man. I actually just moved here in this area. I'm live like a mile from here. I moved here about two years ago. I lived in Jersey all my life, mm -hmm. and I never fucking knew about this place. And I yeah. came here once and saw the most amazing Doors cover band. They have the most eclectic mix of people. And oh my god, the history like, is crazy. Yeah, it was. I guess it was built in like the late 1700s, which is wow. crazy to me. Yes, and uh, they, you know took me all the way you know down in the basement and did all this crazy stuff and it was it was just so cool man i just had such a blast here today that's great do you yeah. believe in ghosts uh you know if they're around they don't really scare me or anything right. so uh i hope there's ghosts i think yeah. that would be good because that means there's an afterlife yeah i mean that'd be rad i hope you just don't you know lay there and then that's it yeah that would suck yeah. If there are ghosts, uh, there's got to be ghosts in this fucking place, right? Yeah, there is. Uh, All yeah, the tortured guess, souls you know, people, that make music, you know? Yeah, people talk and, you know, who knows? I would like to think so. It'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 